So I was at O'Reilly Auto Parts today and I noticed that they had this ridiculously good deal on this dual CPM 1762. And of course, being a sucker for heavily discounted car audio equipment, I had to buy it. Now, do I need a single din radio and speakers at the moment? No, but at $39, I thought it would make a really great video to do a review on. And then I actually had a very good idea, probably the best idea I've ever had. What we're gonna do is we're gonna unbox, review them, and sound test them. And somewhere hidden in the video will be a heavily hidden secret code. And that code will give you a chance to actually win this stereo and speaker bundle. Check out the description for all the details on that. And remember, be vigilant. There's a free car stereo and speakers that you could easily get. Let's give away a car stereo. So I present to you the package that caught my eye. Quite attractive package, I might add. Okay, now I want to be as careful as possible unboxing this because uh, I'm going to be putting everything back together so I can send it to one of you guys. Make sure to read the description and uh, actually at the end of the video, I'm going to go into a little bit more detail on how you can win this. It's super easy. Okay, so... Instruction manual. Okay, so first I guess let's start with one of these speakers. Here are some clips. Keep this as nice as possible. You could win this. Polypropylene cone, I believe. Regular rubber surround. Tweeter. I'm not seeing any type of capacitor on there, but it might be built into this little, uh, into the casing. There's got to be something blocking the base going to it. But... Honestly, not horrible by any means, but kind of can see why, you know, yeah, they are so cheap. Tinsel leads seem pretty well made. Just a regular stamped steel basket. Rather small magnet, but kind of is what it is. I suppose it would be redundant to review this speaker, but it turns out this one actually came with the screws in it. So now we got this little box. Okay. This seems to have, oh, okay. We have our wire harness, and quality of the harness does seem pretty decent, though, I will say. Now this, I would imagine, this is the main unit. I said unit. For anybody who doesn't know, pretty much anymore, this is what a standard car stereo is. Now, ooh, silica gel. But yeah, basically, this anymore is what a car stereo is. That's orange. Wow, it looks red on the box. So the first button seems to be like a power on button and a mute button. So I would imagine that you're going to have to hold it down to power it on and off. Then you got your hands free button, which is pretty cool. That looks like a phone button that, you know, going to be able to pick up your calls and stuff like that. We got a mic. That little tiny hole up there is the mic. Then you have your USB and your auxiliary over on the right, and then there's a little tiny thing down there that is uh, the reset button, if you can see that. Then on the bottom we have left, right, navigate, uh, your band mode, and then one through six, and then those also do things as well. But this pretty much, you know, pretty much this is the hole you dig as far as a radio goes nowadays. That's where your antenna goes, and you got your left and right uh, outputs, which can go to the sub, so you can be banging. So this is about as plain Jane as you're going to be able to get for a radio nowadays but um, I mean for the price you got to think this is under $20 you're also getting a pair of six and a half inch speakers uh, two-way speakers so I mean that considering that's that's not bad to further review it and give a sound test I went ahead and just hooked up some speaker wire to the uh, outputs and I'm gonna use my benchtop power supply to power it I figured we would test it out on my I have a set of Optimus what are these Optimus Pro 7s and a pair of Realistic Minimus 7s, those sit at about 6 ohms, so it'll be a little bit more of an ohm load, so it won't go quite as loud, but I don't really plan on turning it up too loud. And yeah, we can go through all the features and give it a sound test. Alright, so like I said, this was kind of a hard app to get going. Huh, kind of just popped up right then and there. Alright, so let's take a closer look. You've got auxiliary Bluetooth USB radio, and they all work as described. Basically, when you hit one, it turns that instantly. Now, the only thing I haven't tested so far is this. Hi, it's your good friend Bixby. Tell me how I can help. Can you give me a million dollars? I don't really have money, but I can lend you compliments. No need to repay me. 
that will do. And then pretty much just go back and yeah, works as described. Sounds good. 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 Okay, so I noticed that if you go to open up the dual app, it will say power on. As we see, it's off. Look at that. That is pretty cool. You can just kind of go back to where you were. But now, if you go back to the app, you will see. Okay. When you go to Bluetooth, you will see you can also turn the volume up and down. Whoa, this is way loud. Man, these things jam. You can turn it off. You can also get into your EQ and change your uh, EQ settings. Power off or cancel. Bye. Okay, so I had to hook up the proper microphone. And as you can see, just to get a good sound test, uh, I don't know if it's the stereo or if it's these speakers, but man, these Optimus and these realistic speakers, they're about 35 years old. They sound amazing. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and set the mic back down there. I have Manifest It from Nefix queued up, and uh, this will be the first sound test. We'll try to find something else that will give you a little bit more of a good understanding of how good these speakers sound and the radio. Okay, here we go. This one is Born a Rockstar Instrumental. This is from Nethix as well. Um, this is going to show you the insane lows that these actual realistic and optimist speakers can do. They actually dig very low, and I hope this comes through properly. So here we go. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and bundle all this back up like it was. This thing sounds very, very, very good. There's uh, just a little view of the connections, just so you can see we weren't playing any games. Okay, so now, to get a chance to win this, what you're going to have to do, and this will also be in the description, but I'm going to leave somewhere in this video, in a couple of frames, it's going to be very quick, so you're going to have to really, really watch, I'm going to leave a code. Well, first you have to be subscribed. That's the first thing. You should subscribe anyways. Then send the secret code that you saw to this very email address. And then all you have to do is put the secret code and put roughly around what time in the video it was. And I think we're going to be doing a couple more giveaways coming up here. So definitely, I mean, subscribe for that. Stay tuned for that. And uh, in the meantime, uh, this... I really like this, and I think we didn't test the speakers, but I mean, I think they're going to sound just fine, and uh, especially for the price. I mean, this thing is this is this is really good. But uh, yeah, again, thank you guys so much. Check out the description if you don't remember what I just said or if I didn't explain it properly. Good luck, guys. Thank you. I appreciate you very much. I'm on this full stock car, and I happened to notice that this box that I'm using for a template to hold all my bolts actually once held two dual CPM 1762s, huh.